It could be a little bit difficult working with control freaks because it takes a lot of effort to please them. It's safe to say that they are so demanding and that's because they are mostly perfectionist. A control freak is someone who has a compulsive need to have total control over every aspect of their life. They also feel justified in their attempts to control various aspects of the lives of those around them. Here's the thing about control freaks. Their goal isn't to intentionally make people around them feel bad about themselves or any of all that negative emotions, but to take full charge of their lives because the fear that without that, their lives will spiral out of control. Hence, attempting to control others is a protective measure and a byproduct of trying to have everything around them under control. Have you ever heard of the wise old saying, when you see someone who needs power and control and will not stop until they get it, you are seeing someone who is deeply afraid of life. Fearful people can only have things their way. Control freaks are not necessarily bad people, but people who feel the need to be in charge because of fear of the unknown. However, in a bid to take control, they sometimes become difficult people and hard to please. No one wants to be around such people. So how do you know if you are a control freak? Well, in this video, I'll share with you 8 signs of a control freak. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. You are a perfectionist. Control freaks are not only concerned about avoiding failures, but also about how the rest of the world perceives them. They always want to appear perfect because it'll make people know that they are indeed in charge of their lives. The thing with being a perfectionist, however, is that not only is it driven by a desire to do well, but also a fear of the consequences of not doing well. It makes you overly conscious of everything around you. Living your life this way will only make you lose out on the present moment and become too anxious about the future and the expectations you have set for yourselves. Number 2. You always refuse to delegate tasks. Nicole Martinez, a psychologist, said, When we refuse to delegate, when we believe that no one can do a job as good as we can, so we overwhelm ourselves with tasks, we might be a control freak. If you firmly believe that if you want something done right, you'd better do it yourself, then you might be a control freak. You avoid delegating tasks because you believe that it will only succeed in a waste of your time as you'll end up making corrections to everything that other people did. Number 3. You are not a good team player. Being a part of a team means letting other members of the team take responsibility for specific actions and you can't have that happen because you only trust yourself to deliver. As a result, you would rather be a loner than be a part of a team. On a few occasions, however, where you get to be part of a team, you quickly try to dictate everyone's behavior before someone else gets a chance to do so. Number 4. You spend a lot of time and energy trying to prevent bad things. Control freaks are too concerned about preventing unfortunate occurrences than they are about preparing themselves for such a situation. I mean, look at it this way. They think that they have control over everything, including some unforeseen incidents. So instead of trying to prepare themselves for those unexpected situations, they spend their time and energy trying to prevent them. Control freaks often waste much time and energy hoping bad things won't happen because they doubt their ability to deal with hardship. Number 5. You never admit when you were wrong. One of the most annoying traits of a control freak is that they never admit when they are wrong or make mistakes, no matter how small the error. Also, not only do they refuse to admit their mistakes, they transfer the blame to someone else. It's ironic. Considering that they don't hesitate to chastise anyone else who makes a mistake. If you feel that you are always right, it means that you might be a control freak and admitting that you're wrong in something will mean hurting your fragile ego, which doesn't sound good because you think people will perceive you as incompetent. Number 6. You micromanage others. Already, we know that control freaks prefer to do all the tasks all by themselves instead of delegating them. However, 
When they eventually do, they insist on micromanaging every step of the way. Again, the desire to micromanage people is because they don't trust anyone else but themselves. Micromanagers tend to be demanding when it comes to their employees. They want to be copied in every email because they cannot trust their team. Number 7. You judge and criticize others. The thing about control freaks is that they have an opinion about everything, starting from how a person should dress, talk, work, eat, and even live their lives. They believe their opinions are fact, so when people don't value them or don't act accordingly, they criticize such people. However, in some cases, their judgmental behavior might be due to an experience they had in the past. According to Dr. Paul Hochmier, a licensed marriage and family therapist, judging others is a form of controlling behavior. It makes the people feel temporarily better about themselves by diminishing the other person. Unfortunately, in the long term, the person who judges suffers greatly because they lack quality relationship in their lives. Judging behavior as a defense against feeling judged. So the person who judges others is hypercritical of themselves and was judged at some point in their lives by some significant person is being inferior in some significant capacity. To avoid the pain that they experience from feeling judged, they act offensively by maliciously judging others. Number 8. You are always correcting people when they are wrong. Correcting people isn't wrong, but when it comes to a habit for you, then it shows that you are controlling because you can't stand people doing something in a way that isn't yours. Control freaks believe that they are the only ones who know what's best for everyone, which is the reason they always try to get others to do things their way. Once again, they like to feel in charge wherever they find themselves. Hence, the need to correct people always. There you have it. Now you can answer the question of whether you are a control freak or not. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.